Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Meditating the Word. I'm really glad you're with us on this year-long trip through the Bible. Want a guide to what we've read and what's coming up? Just get your reading plan from blueletterbible.com. Check the link in our show notes. I'll be reading from the World English Bible, but you can use any Bible you like. If you haven't hit subscribe on our podcast, why not do that now? Click subscribe so you won't miss any episodes. This is day 152. Today we're reading 2 Chronicles chapter 1 and praying Psalm 72. The Second Book of Chronicles chapter 1 Solomon the son of David was firmly established in his kingdom, and the Lord his God was with him and made him exceedingly great. Solomon spoke to all Israel, to the captains of thousands and of hundreds, to the judges, and to every prince in all Israel, the heads of the father's households. Then Solomon and all the assembly with him went to the high place that was at Gibeon, for God's tent of meeting was there, which the Lord's servant Moses had made in the wilderness. But David had brought God's ark up from Kiriath-Jearim to the place that David had prepared for it, for he had pitched a tent for it at Jerusalem. Moreover, the bronze altar that Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, had made was there before the Lord's tabernacle, and Solomon and the assembly were seeking counsel there. Solomon went up there to the bronze altar before the Lord which was at the tent of meeting, and offered one thousand burnt offerings on it. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask for what you want me to give you. Solomon said to God, You have shown great loving kindness to David my father, and have made me king in his place. Now, O Lord God, let your promise to David my father be established, for you have made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. Now give me wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people, for who can judge this great people of yours? God said to Solomon, Because this was in your heart, and you have not asked riches, wealth, honor, or the life of those who hate you, nor yet have you asked for long life, but have asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself, that you may judge my people over whom I have made you king. Therefore, wisdom and knowledge is granted to you. I will give you riches, wealth, and honor, such as none of the kings have had who have been before you, and none after you will have. So Solomon came from the high place that was at Gibeon, from before the tent of meeting to Jerusalem and he reigned over Israel. Solomon gathered chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen that he placed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. The king made silver and gold to be as common as stones in Jerusalem, and he made cedars to be as common as the sycamore trees that are in the lowland. The horses which Solomon had were brought out of Egypt and from Ku. The king's merchants purchased them from Ku. They imported from Egypt, then exported a chariot for 600 pieces of silver and a horse for 150. They also exported them to the Hittite kings and the Syrian kings. The Book of Psalms, Psalm 72 by Solomon. God, give the king your justice, your righteousness, to the royal son. He will judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring prosperity to the people. The hills bring the fruit of righteousness. He will judge the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break the oppressor in pieces. They shall fear you while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. 
He will come down like rain on the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days, the righteous shall flourish, and abundance of peace until the moon is no more. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Those who dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him. His enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the islands will bring tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yes, all the kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him, for he will deliver the needy when he cries, the poor who has no helper. He will have pity on the poor and needy. He will save the souls of the needy. He will redeem their soul from oppression and violence. Their blood will be precious in his sight. He will live, and Sheba's gold will be given to him. Men will pray for him continually. They will bless him all day long. Abundance of grain shall be throughout the land. Its fruit sways like Lebanon. Let it flourish, thriving like the grass of the field. His name endures forever. His name continues as long as the sun. Men shall be blessed by him. All nations will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Blessed be his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This ends the prayers by David, the son of Jesse. Father God, just as Solomon was blessed to bless others, you bless us today, not for ourselves, for our own glory, or so that we can store up treasures for ourselves here on earth, but as part of the covenant you made with the father of our faith, Abraham. We are blessed to be a blessing and to establish your kingdom here on earth. Let us never forget the purpose behind the blessing. Amen. You can catch Meditating the Word on any podcast platform you like, YouTube, or even Facebook. If you're listening from one of the podcast platforms, we've got links in the notes to help you find us everywhere else. My mission? To inspire folks to deepen their Christian faith by reading God's Word every day. You can pitch in, too. Share this podcast, rate it, review it. Every bit helps. Hey, thank you for being part of this Bible journey with me. Please know I'm praying for you. Let's all pray for each other. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.